Hello and welcome to a new episode of Idle Heroes Total Defense. Um, I just prestiged on the desert, barren desert. Thirty percent range, ten percent synergy bonus, twenty-five percent rank XP, and minus kill gold. Let's build a XP farm setup. I already used my buff, which is sad because I wasn't supposed to. And I'll tell you why. Um, it is obviously the best to use it with boss rush, but we're not going to use boss rush at the beginning. Because we have our training dummy ready. You never want to spawn training dummy at the start of a wave. Never. And I'll also show you why. Alright. Um, archers. Very important. Archmage, uh, plus 3 skill power, minus 25% skill cooldown. There we go. What do archers do? They tag an enemy to reward 700% experience when killed. 700 comes from my skill power, obviously. It's also a skill power event and spell cooldown reduction, so that really helps. Targeting options, skill support, everything's gonna be on skill support. Focus boss, boss only, there we go. And we're gonna put another archer here. Also Archmage, skill support, and this one is closest to enemy. So he will use his XP tag on all of the enemies, all of the regular enemies, not the boss. Um, I am actually going to re-roll this, because I want to. Yeah, that's a lot. All right, um, so how do you really want to spec your archers? Um, range, obviously. There we go. Skill power, obviously. Skill cooldown, obviously. We don't need kill gold because we're not going to kill anything with archers because they're always going to be on skill support and they're just going to be leveling with um, training dummies. Rank XP, we don't want rank XP uh, because it's not important. We don't want damage, we don't want attack speed. Attack speed is, yeah, that's fine. I mean, you can get the attack speed. It's it doesn't cost too much, but pff, I wouldn't get too worry about it. One damage, one kill gold, just for the multiplier. I'm not sure if it really matters, but I'm just gonna do it, and the rest is just gonna go into. Wait, that has a max. Oh my god, I didn't know rank XP had a max. Well, that's a first. Um. Okay, then it really doesn't matter. Then I'm definitely gonna put everything here in attack speed. And the rest, um, probably in damage. Yeah, let's go with damage. No, we don't need more gold. Uh, I put everything in global damage because it will boost the damage of your uh, hero that you're killing with. Yeah, I'm kind of stunned right now. I didn't know there was a max for the globals. For rank XP. Huh. What a bummer. Alright, but so be it. What else do we need? Um, ballistas. Why do we need ballistas? And why do we need two ballistas? You don't really need two ballistas, but I'm just using two ballistas just because I can. So we put them both on Archmage. One targets for uh, boss only, and that's basically why I do it. Um, I use one for boss only, and I just use one for regular. You don't actually need it. You can just use another one. Uh, I mean, you can just use one. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, at the moment, I don't really care about it too much. So, I'm actually going to reset this guy as well. Get maximum XP here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. There we go, since we can get max, one, one, skill cooldown, skill power, range, let's go with attack speed as well, and the rest does not matter too much, so damage. Um, so yeah, one is just regular, the other one, other one is focus on boss and boss only, I just want to make sure that I can get uh, the boss every single time. 
because I also use this as a night setup. Uh, what I mean with a night setup is like I put on the setup without boss rush and I go to bed and that's basically it. Um, what's really important is scout. So we want scout for the synergy. There we go. Scout can go on skill support. Uh, we could also reset him. Oh, that's gonna go all my gems for maximum XP. Yeah, let's do it. For the video, would have done it without as well. So, um, range. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because his skill is just do damage. But we're not gonna do damage with him. It's not gonna matter. Um, bum, bum, bum. So he, he actually gives 110% uh, critical damage, which is quite nice. And the other synergies don't matter because we won't have any of those towers here. And this is it. This is your EXP setup. We still have one, two, three, four, five extra spots, but you don't need them because this is the only XP that you can get. What else can you do? You can put like a wizard here with Archmage and skill support and then you can put like um, a ninja here and then when you go to wizard then you'll see like oh 19 rank XP but they need to be level 50 so for maybe like uh, more of, I want to say early game players but I mean you still need rank 50 which is not that early game anymore um, you can still build on those synergies but if you don't want them then you can just put your damage dealers here. Um, what else that you can do is, if you have a captain unlocked, you can put like captain here, and then just skill support it, and archmage it, because you will get extra energy. Um, most of the energy will still come from your wave clear, uh, but I mean, extra energy is always nice, so I'm put, putting a captain there. Um, your damage dealer, for me, that's going to be champion because I'm gonna have some fun with champion uh, my champion is only like rank 51 so he doesn't do anything yet and it's just for video purposes so um, I put him on XP farmer I'm gonna put another one here also on a XP farmer and wait this one has to be on skill support and another champion also on EXP farmer. I'm gonna reduce the targeting rate so he can just kill everything that comes by here and this one we're gonna reduce it as well so he can kill everything that comes by here. I always have two killers because I reduce the uh, area so if they come from the bottom here they have like I mean you would have to be really really fast uh, which is obviously not, not going to happen. So that's why I have two killers here. I always level up this one because it has uh, two lanes to cover and it actually covers the third one as well. And then this one I level up as well, but less than this one. So that's basically my thought process. Um, we have one more here. You can go for synergies or whatever that you like, but I just put something there um, because I'm leveling rogue. Yep, I'm leveling rogue. I'm I was actually leveling rogue. Um, for me, this is just like an extra um, tower that you can put here that gets experience with your training dummy. If you're doing it in your night setups, then you should just put something with extra damage. Something that gives you damage, because in your night setups, you're not obviously not going to spawn uh, training dummies, because you'll be sleeping. Um, spells, obviously, um, accelerate to have those um, EXP tags, fast run. You have trainee with uh, which is really important as uh, for every boss because bosses give a lot of XP. Bosses give ten times the XP of a regular mob. Um, and then you have the uh, what's it called? Power plant for energies. You have enchanted for extra skill power. The extra skill power obviously makes it that you get more ex uh, higher level EXP tags. And then you have autocast on time warp to make it go faster. These are very expensive. Uh, I basically maxed out this one. I've almost maxed out uh, Rector Riches, but that's only for Gold Farm. So, uh, 
EXP setup is done. Uh, support, 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 and damage. So why do I not spawn the training dummy right now? Let me just do it like this. And then I'm actually going to level up my towers. There we go. And we're going to go for max milestones to 1500. And why do I want 1500? Because this guy has plus two rank XP and plus two skill power. And another plus two skill power, which makes the 700% go to 780%. And that's why you should not spawn it at the um, beginning. Same for the Ballista. I think he also has a rank XP, which is not too fancy. Oh, I thought, actually thought he had skill power as well. I guess he doesn't. And I'm poor. There we go. So, now you just let it run a little bit. There we go. Let me just upgrade everything. Normally, I upgrade everything to 1500 first. Especially these guys. And then you can, like, uh, activate your um, ads. Because now I lost 10 seconds in a boss rush normally. So normally you should activate it right now. So that's my bad. You spawn a dummy. Um, a dummy is basically a boss. Um, so that's why I have Enchanted and Trainee on boss, and I can do it on three times maybe. As you can see, the uh, XP arrow goes off, the tags goes off, and we're gonna get a huge amount of experience, I hope. Uh, something that's interesting is I have three champions. When spawning a training dummy, you will get XP on all champions. So if you have three of the same champions, you will get three times the XP, as you will see right now. Boom. Look at that champion. Uh, he was like level, f uh, what level was he? I have to watch the video back, but he was like level 50 or something, 51. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of um, attribute points to divide right now. Very nice. All right, uh, then you go boss rush, maximum game speed, obviously, you don't have to put it on times three, it was just for the video. And then you just start killing. And that's the XP farm. There we go, champion on another level. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get when you have low levels. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for my XP farm. That's what I'm using right now. Uh, if you're... Damn, champion, go get them. If you're using uh, a night setup, don't activate boss rush and just let it run for a few times. Uh, try to start with spawning the goblins here and then you'll get some extra money and then you can basically level up your um, damage dealers. So one will always be lower, but that's fine. And then you just go to bed and the next morning you get back at like your maximum wave. And then you can just prestige. And the beauty of it is that your spells will be back off cooldown every 10th wave. So um, you get a trainee and enchanted for every single boss, which is a huge amount of experience. Damn, champion is really racking up. But yeah, I have a lot of experience, so. Alright, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, go grind that XP, um, don't grind too much XP actually, because I saw that um, this announced that he was going to introduce a Divine tier, so one after this, um, so don't level these guys too high, but level them, level them and push, but don't level them too high, what I can advise you to level is um, Rogue, which is good, uh, Rogue has the um, gold aura, you'll need that for, um, come on, what's that? Gold farms, you need that for your gold farm. Um, bum, 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 bum. Hunter, which also has the gold tag. And of course your debuffs, like Apprentice, uh, Witch, Wizard. Um, those are one of the common ones that I use. So definitely level those. Uh, you'll be good for pushing as well. All right, for real now, look at the champion guy. Wow, he's, he's just rising up, or this just may be my XP. Um, well, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.